Let's see some word problems of decimal multiplication. The first problem is this. Sachin can walk 4.85 km in 1 hour. Km is a short form for kilometer. How much distance can he walk in 4 hours? The first thing is the distance walked in 1 hour. So that distance is 4.85. And the number of hours are 4. So if we want to calculate the total distance, it would be 4 times the distance in 1 hour. Whenever you see the word times, you understand that you have to multiply. So let's do the multiplication 4.85 multiplied by 4. The first step is to ignore the decimal point and multiply. So let's multiply 485 by 4, 4 fives are 20, so we write down 0, 2 is carried over, 4 eights are 32, 32 plus 2 equals 34, so we write down 4, 3 is carried over, 4 fours are 16, 16 plus 3 equals 19. So the product is 1940. If you look at the decimal number 4.85, there are two decimal places. So the answer should also have two decimal places. And therefore the answer is 19.40 or 19.4. That means Sachin can walk 19.4 kilometer in 4 hours. The next one is a square has sides of length 23.5 centimeter again cm here is a short form for centimeter find the area of the square they have given 23.5 centimeter as length of sides which sides all the sides because in case of a square all the sides are of the same length what is the equation for calculating area of a square side multiplied by side or side square so let's calculate the area we have to multiply 23.5 by 23.5 again let's ignore the decimal point and multiply 235 multiplied by 235 first we multiply by 5 5 fives are 25 we write down 5 2 is carried over 5 threes are 15, 15 plus 2 equals 17, we write down 7, 1 is carried over, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 1 equals 11. The next step is to multiply by 3, since 3 is at 10's place, we write down 0 first and then multiply, 3 fives are 15, we write down 5, 1 is carried over, 3 threes are 9, 9 plus 1 equals 10, we write down 0, 1 is carried over, 3 twos are 6, 6 plus 1 equals 7. The next step is to multiply by 2, 2 is at 100's place. So we write two zeros first and then multiply. 5 twos are 10, we write down 0, 1 is carried over, 3 twos are 6, 6 plus 1 equals 7 and 2 twos are 4. Let's add these three numbers, 5 plus 0 plus 0 equals 5. 7 plus 5 equals 2, so we write down 2, 1 is carried over, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 7 plus 7 equals 15, we write down 5, 1 is carried over, 1 plus 4 equals 5. Now this was a big multiplication. Was it necessary to do this? Or is there any trick to do this calculation? If you look at this number, that you need to square which is 235 you can see that 235 ends with 5 and we know how to square a number that ends with 5 this is how we could have done we could have taken the first two digits of 235 that would make 23 so 23 plus 1 equals 24 and you can multiply 23 by 24 now I am not doing the whole multiplication here but 23 multiplied by 24 equals 552. You can see that multiplying 23 and 24 
is a lot easier than multiplying 235 by 235. So we could have done a simpler calculation. And in the final step, what you do is you write 552 followed by 25 because all such squares end in 25. If the number ends with 5, then its square always ends in 25. Hence, the square is 55,225. This calculation is lot simpler. Regardless of which method we use for the multiplication, our answer is 55,225. So, let's put the decimal point back. There is one decimal place in both the numbers that we multiplied. So, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, our answer should have two decimal places. Therefore, our answer is 552.25. Therefore, the area of the square is 552.25 square centimeter.